Good morning, Texans. It's Alan Sperry with This Day in Texas History for February 19th, 1836. Moses Fisk Roberts, age 32, arrives in Texas. He will join Captain James Cheshire's Jasper Volunteer Company as a second lieutenant. John Sutherland, age 44, and William Hester Patton, age 27, leave Behar for Gonzales. Patton would go on to recruit more men and attend the convention on March 1st at Washington on the Brazos. Jesse Badgett, in an interview on uh, April 15th, states that there were 14 men on the sick list at the Alamo when he left the, for the convention on February 19th. There's a controversy over whether those men were actually counted among the uh, uh, Alamo count by Fannin or Bowie or any of the other numbers that came out, or Colonel Neal. Because uh, there's a discrepancy between the numbers of men that uh, people believe were there. Uh, Nathaniel uh, Massey Kerr dies of an unknown illness at the Alamo, four days before Santa Ana arrived. Since he died before Santa Ana arrived, he is not on the list of defenders. His brother, Joseph Kerr, died defending the Alamo. He was 21 years old at the time of his death. Uh, in order to be an ADDA, Alamo Defenders Descendants Association, your ancestor had to actually die at the Alamo. So the three people who actually survived, their ancestors could not be part of uh, the organization for the uh, def defenders who died there. A council uh, occurs in Goliad with James Bonham, representing William Barrett Travis to James Fannin. Fannin considered the idea, but made no action to continue reinforcing the now renamed Fort Defiance. Juan El Monte's diary at the Rio uh, Frio found there in the morning the division of Senior Ramirez. William Barrett Travis to Captain J.L. Vaughn gives a list of places for Captain Vaughn to go to on the way to uh, way of Madame Morris and to recruit along the way and make reports of the Mexican, Mexican army as it happens. The Bejarinos, uh, citizens born in Bejar, begin to make plans to evacuate the area. The runaway scrape starts to pick up steam. Santa Ana shows up in four days. So it started south of Sa uh, San Antonio. They came on up and then headed on east or some <laughs> over to Laredo. Um... But uh, the ones who went west, uh, they joined the runway scrape in the Gonzales. Uh, the Mexican army treated native-born rebels worse than uh, foreign-born rebels as they would set the army loose on the women and children of rebels. This would cause nearly all the Tejano defenders in the Alamo to leave the mission in order to get their families to safety and away from Mexican armies. Men like Toribio Lasoya and uh, Gregorio Esparza would uh, stay there because their families were, were with them. Uh, most would rejoin the Texas Army in Gonzales and come back to Bejar with Juan Seguin as the guy to Fannin's army who was supposed to reinforce the troops at the Alamo. Fannin never showed up, and those men had to come back, uh, including in that group was my great-great-great-grandfather, uh, Demasio Jimenez's older brother, uh, who was uh, cousins with Juan Seguin, Toribio Lasoya, Gregorio Esparza, uh, and uh, brother -in -law, uh, cousin's brother-in-law to James Bowie and Ilao Melton. Ilao just married uh, Toribio Lasoya's sister in uh, December. All right, this is Alan Spade with This Day in Texas History. I will see you tomorrow.